But, I mean, how do you see the interrelationship between punks and skins? I mean, which definitely does seem to exist, although it almost seems that, that the media tries to put them against each other. Yeah, the media does, but I don't think it's working. The only difference... I mean, they've got the same taste in music, and the only other difference I can see is the way they dress. I mean, do you think the skins... The, the supposed bad reputation of the skins is deserved, or is, it, is, it, is that a media thing? No, well? I mean... They're boisterous, but no more than anybody else. I know more boisterous than anybody else. I mean, the media likes, seems to, like a music. It doesn't have anything to say. It doesn't tell them anything. It's just a tune they can hum to. You just hum some catchy little chorus. And if it's got something to say, most, a lot of people don't really want to listen, listen to it. Because they know know it's there. They don't like being told it's there. It makes them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. Their music's about the, the real things that happen. Yeah. Real problems that do occur. Not the ideal problems or the ideal world that these other groups sing about. Yeah, it's all very well to sing about getting down at the disco with your baby. But what happens about the fight like, outside when you're coming home because some geezer, yeah. you know, you've looked at him. That's the real thing, but yeah. they don't sing about that, see? Yeah, I mean, it's hundreds and hundreds of discos in London that you can go to every night of the week. But for punk groups to play, or for somewhere where people can go to see punk groups, you've got, what, two nights a week, if you're lucky. I mean, it, it rules the airways, disco music. It rules the charts. We're just saying, we're not saying that Smash 